never laid a finger on the boy. All right, so he's lying, is he? Well, I don't know. I don't know what he said, he do said I? He said that you hit him. Well, I haven't. I swear I haven't. Oh, what? You swear? Swear on the Bible? Yeah, you've got form for that and then lying through your teeth. Oh, you! I haven't touched him. Now get out. You, you bald oh, cow. Oh, no! Oh, 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 stop it! Oh, this is a fact. Come on. Yeah. You touch him again and I swear to you, I'll I will, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I will. Whoa, whoa. You poison everything you touch, Carla. And I won't let you buy diamond like you poison everybody else. And you, just stay out of here. She can't just go around saying things like that. There's laws. Yeah, and we all know what you say, yeah. OK, ladies, the show's over. The working day is not. Let's crack on, please. Thank you. <laughs> Do you believe? Oh, I'm keeping out of this one. Everyone knows she lied in court. No one's going to believe her now. True. Look, Sally, about the email that you saw. Which you obviously don't want to talk about. Yeah, I do, but just not here. We'll go for a drink later, okay? I think we should. So, are we ready for the big switch off? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Isn't that lovely, Faye? Yeah. So you're going to say a big thank you to Owen? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, you're sure there's nothing else you want? Um, wave machine? Uh, no, there is not anymore. It'd be too much, don't you think so, Faye? Yeah. Right, then can I suggest I get the three of us takeaways by way of celebration? No, cos I'm not going to be here. Yeah, she's going to her mates, but, well, well we could still have a takeaway. Takeaway for two? Four. Cos Chesney and Katie are coming round. We're gonna have Joseph and then they're gonna go and see a film. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Take away for four. Yeah. <laughs> Do you how old? Eight. Clever? <sighs> yeah. And cunning. You know what? Kids of that age, they just tend to say things that they think you want to hear. <laughs> you know, Leanne wants to hear bad stuff about you. He knows that, so he's just delivering the goods. <sighs> what do I do? Talk to Peter. You think? Yeah, definitely. If only to get to him before she does. <sighs> right, make yourself at home, young man. Can I watch the television? Of course you can. You sure this is OK? Yes, it's lovely to see you. I'm so sorry, he was just so upset. Poor little thing. Turns out Carl's been hitting him. No. Yeah, he told me. So I went to look for her and I told her if she hits him again, she'll have me to deal with. And what'd she say? <sighs> Oh, just what you'd expect from her. I didn't lay a finger on him. I don't know what you're talking about. Then again, she's on record as being the world's biggest liar, so... So I suppose she'll go and tell Peter. Not unless you prefer he didn't know. Si? What? When Carla hit you, was your dad ever there? No. Did you tell him afterwards? No. Why not? Because he keeps telling me how nice Carla is and now I have to like her. So you didn't think that he'd believe you? Who believes her, everything she says? Yeah, well, we all know that. Well, in case it's not obvious, you two are both welcome to stay as long as you like. All right? Thanks. You might just get him a drink. All right. Help yourself to anything you want, love. Right, Aunt Craig. I've got a gentleman friend calling tonight, so I don't want us disturbing. Are you listening? Yeah. Right, so I'm going to have a quick bath and then I want you to go to your room and stop there till I say you can come out. I'm hungry. Well, you can have some crisps or summer and I'll make us something later. Right, I've quite an appetite myself by then. Right, that's it, yeah? Yeah, cheers. You can understand it's a difficult situation. It doesn't excuse her, it's in a child. No, I know, but if the kid was playing up, as you know what they say, like father, like son, and his dad's a crook, 560, please, mate. Peter, why'd you say that? Well, I told you, I had a winning bet and the hard-faced beggar wouldn't pay up. Oh, that. Yeah, he claimed the slip had never been stamped. Well, whose fault was that? So your job, not only be safe, is going to be 100% better. And the plan is? The plan is. And you don't breathe a word of this to anybody, especially that lot. You know I won't. The plan is we close the production side of the factory. Outsource orders to firms overseas, expand marketing and distribution, and watch the money rolling. 40 and 40 change, mate. Thank you. So, you reckon Barlow's bookies is a rip-off joint? Yeah, well, he proper ripped me off. I had a winning bet, and he wouldn't pay out. You should report him. What, who to? 
Anyway, they're all as bad as each other, aren't they? Yeah, what about the workforce? Wouldn't need them. You can't sack them all. Not all of them. We'll need some for distribution, unskilled staff. Kirk, he'd be safe. But most of them, especially the troublemakers, they'll all be gone. Hmm. I'm just going to um, pay a visit, OK? I'm telling you, Leanna's made the whole thing up, right? Because what she wants is she wants word to get back to Peter, then he'll fall out with Carla and kick her out, and then, whoa, Leanne moves back in. Oh, that's awful. How could people be so devious? Well, we don't know that, do we? Oh, yeah, but I'd put money on it. Well, Leanne might be telling the truth. Are you not meant to be a friend of Carla's, Hayley? Oh, I am. But I don't know, Leanne just seemed genuine to me. Len! Hey, it's Frank. How are you? I'm OK, you know, surviving. Listen, you still got that cushy job investigating bookies and other fly-by-nights? So, if I was to tell you there's one at the end of Coronation Street, been ripping off a pal of mine, you could look into that, could you? So, look, we've got 14 bucks. 14? Yeah. Evening, Gail. Nick. Uh, hey, Lewis. Uh, how are you? Well, I'm hoping tomorrow never comes. Really? I'm up in court getting my just desserts, so I thought I'd treat myself tonight. You know, if you've got a spare table. Of course we have. Provided you've got the money to pay for it. I, I, I bought cash. Would you like to be paid in advance? <laughs> no, no, no. It won't be necessary. Uh, is that table OK? That's great. I'll bring your menu over. Thanks. We don't ask customers if they can pay or not. Think you should with that one. Yeah. Well, I won't be. And I don't want you to either. Here they are. Perfect timing. Hey! Oh, well, it isn't home cooking. Let's have a look at it. He's fucked out. But for how long is anybody's guess? Oh, well, I hope he wakes up and want to hold him. Right, I'll just put this on the table and we can all help ourselves. Right, well, let me get some plates. Come on, you two, come and sit down. Um, listen, we don't have to go to see this film, you know. Yeah, cos he probably will wake up. Yeah, and he usually does. And you don't want to have to change him and everything. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey! I said I'd babysit while you two had a night out, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, and if you need any help? You two are definitely going out. And I'm looking after Joseph. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. She just came marching in, bold as brass, accusing me of having it, Simon. Sorry, I, Which, I don't know Which, of course, I denied, but she wasn't listening. She just told me I'd have to answer to her if I did it again. Carla, I'm sorry, love. I am, I am really sorry well, about... Well, it's not your fault, is it? But, what I don't understand, what, she made this up, or...? Well, no, I got the impression it was something Simon said. What? Well, why? Why would he do it? Because he's like not that? exactly my biggest fan, is he? But, Peter, you know, this was in front of quite an audience. OK, right, look. I'm going to have to talk to Leanne. Well, if she's still around. I mean, I mean did, did, did she mention? Did she say she was? Oh, no, baby, she didn't mention her plans to me. Just told me she wanted to kill me if I did it again. And if she is still here, do you want me to talk to her or do you want to come with me? I don't think me being there is going to help. Well, no. Oh, Carla, I am so sorry about this, love. I really am. Oh, it's all right. I'm used to being attacked, aren't I? No, it's not all right, but I tell you what, she's not going to get away with this. No, she's not. Come here. Hello, Steve. Well, you look, um, relaxed. Why don't you take off your coat and come and sit next to me? A uh, bit, because uh, I'd better go and check the boiler. It's not working. Oh, no, it's all right. Came back on. What, of his own accord? Yeah, Craig had a fiddle with it. He's dead good at that sort of thing. Well, I'd better check it anyway. Don't want it blowing up the house to me. There'll be a drink waiting for you when you're finished. You don't have to bother. Oh, it's no bother. It'll be my pleasure. Hi, Gail. Oh, no. Tell me you haven't. Haven't what? Arranged to meet her. Oh, no, I haven't. Of course I haven't. Hello, Grant. Wondered how long it would take for you to turn up. 
I just popped in to ask my daughter if she fancied a drink. I didn't know he was going to be in it. How could I? Phone, text, extrasensory perception. No, I'm not coming out for a drink because I've agreed to help Nick, so now you can go. And I will. But I can go and just say hello first. I mean, politeness costs nothing, does it? Well, didn't expect to see you in here. Oh, Audrey, I'd be delighted if you joined me. Ah. Uh, I don't think my family would be. Please, you have no idea how much it would mean to me. Louis, don't, please. You're putting me in an impossible situation. No, really, I mustn't. I really mustn't. I'm going. I had no idea he'd be here. I really had not. Do you believe her? I don't know what to believe now that con man's back on the scene. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. Sit down. Come on, I'm not gonna bite you. Unless you want me to, that is. And here's your drink. Oh, cheers. So, here's you, a man on your own. And here's me, a woman on my own. Why, well, Tracy not in? No, she's out. And our Craig's in his room, so we're not gonna be disturbed if that's what's worrying you. I'm not worried. So. Why don't the two of us get comfy? Would you rather be down here or upstairs? Wow, is that the time? Look at that, I really must be going. Do you want me to sit on your knee? What? No, look, excuse me. Oh, don't be so nervous. You're like a cat on hot bricks. Put your arms round me. What? Why? Look, no, get off, I've got to... I had a dream about you last night. Do you want me to tell you all about it? Craig! Hello! What are you showing him for? I just want to say well done for fixing the book. Craig! Do that after! Come here! Get off! Go! Get... Oh, Craig! Oh, well done, love. Oh, hey, listen, well done for fixing the, um, save me a job there. Here. There you are, sunshine. <laughs> I'm off. Bye. Well, what a waste of a bath. <sighs> It wasn't long ago you lost your job when Carla sacked you. What did you do? You went and found another one. They'll do the same. Yeah, but will they? Meanwhile, me and you move into a different world. Travelling in style, five-star hotels, cash in your pocket, exciting shops to spend it in. Anyway, I'm going to It's going to be a wonderful future. The most wonderful thing about it would be together. What about Carla? She's not going to agree. We're going to buy her out. What, has she agreed that? Not yet. But she's going to. Uh, two red wines, please, Stella. Right. And uh, Audrey, another. Oh, that's kind of you, Deirdre. But... And I'm really sorry that I said some things I shouldn't oh, have. Oh, well, we all do that. No, actually, I'm going to get home and lock the door in case a certain person comes in here, and then my daughter will accuse me of conspiring behind her back. Does your daughter always think the worst of you, Deirdre? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, um, no, we have it the other way around. She always thinks the worst of me, don't you, Mum? Yes, and I'm usually right. Oh, anyway, look, thanks, good night. All right, love. Um, what was she on about? Well, I've got my suspicions, but I think I'll keep them to myself for now. Uh, I gather Liam's here with my son. Yeah, she is. And against my advice, she's willing to talk to you. So you better come on through. You still owe me, you know. I'm not going to forget. Your visitors here. All yeah, right, Paul. Yeah. Right, let's just turn this telly off for a minute. Um, no, listen. Your dad's come here to talk to us. He's not come to watch the television. Right. Well, I'll leave you to it. If you need me, you know where I am. Thanks, Stella. So, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thanks. Never better. I am sorry, you know. Sorry. Don't be so pathetic, Peter. What have you got to be sorry about when sorry you've got everything for what you want? You. Oh, really? You're sorry for what it's done to me? Liam, oh, well, I, I feel great now I've heard Will that. You stop it, you two. You keep telling me how I should behave and listen to the way you're going on. Sorry. It's my fault, I'm sorry. Arguing and arguing. Yeah, I know, and you're right. We've got to stop. Yeah, you're right. We have. But there is one thing that the three of us do need to talk about. Oh, there certainly is. There you go. Hi, yeah. please, Stella. Right. Oh, look, ma'am. It's my landlord. Or should I say my husband? Look, if you two are going to start, I'm going home. So, did you fix the boiler? Nothing wrong with it. Oh, it's just that Bess said. Oh, I wonder. Well, you don't think she just said it, do you, to lure you in? Have a wicked way with you? Probably. 
I wonder where she got that idea from. Well, I think she probably thought of it all by herself. Well, I don't. What are you trying to do, Trace? Make a fool out of me or her or what? Right, that's it. I'm going. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, yes, Tracy. You're a big girl now. You can fight your own battles. You don't need your mother. She does fancy you, though, Steve. I have noticed that. You are playing a very dangerous game, you know that. Oh, yeah, I do. So what did you tell Leanne about what Carla had done to you? You already know what he told me. I want to hear it from him. Well, I don't see why. Simon. I can't remember. Or try and remember. It's all right, Simon. You're not going to get into trouble. And there's certainly going to be no more hitting. Can we just let him speak? He's frightened. Well, I don't know what he's frightened of. All right. You told Leanne that Carla hit you, yes? Well, did you or didn't you? Might have done. Might have done. What's that supposed to mean? Well, obviously, it means yes, but he's too scared to admit it with you going on at him I'm like this. I'm not going on at oh, him. Oh, you heard yourself. Fine, you ask him. Uh, I already know. Yes, well, I don't. And if I don't hear him say it, I'll assume that he didn't and put it down to you causing trouble. I'll take him home and we'll forget about the whole thing. How about that? Right, come on, Si. Just tell your dad what you told me, else you heard what he said. Carla hit me. She hit you? You heard him. Don't mean I believe him. And is this true? Simon, is this true? Yes. You look gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I don't want to leave him. Oh, well, you have to. It's only for a couple of hours, love. I know. Have you got our mobile number? Oh, yes, I have, but I'm not going to need it, Ches. Now go on the pair of you. <sighs> yeah, come on. Bye-bye, Jojo. <laughs> Ches, you're not going to say bye to him? He's asleep. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, Joseph. <laughs> see you then. Thanks again. See you later. See you. I'll uh, take this up to the bin, shall I? Oh, yeah, if you won't mind. Are you going to be able to manage Joseph on your own? Or would you welcome a bit of help? A bit of company, even? I think I'll be all right on my own, thank you. Fine. Right, well, I'll just take this lot to the bin and... then I'll carry on back to my place. But thanks for what you've done for Faye, you know, with the pond and everything. Yeah, yeah, no, my pleasure. OK, bye-bye, Joseph, love. Good night. Good night. Do you remember when Addy got that bump on his head? Hmm? And you lied about that? Who said anything about lying? It was only a little lie, but once you'd told it, you had to keep telling other lies, didn't you? Until it all got very serious. Well, that's what's going to happen again, unless you stop it and you tell me the truth. He already has done. And you're not going to get into trouble, OK? In fact, you'll be saving everybody a lot of trouble. Because if Carla did hit you, then you're going to have to tell me all about it. Then you're going to have to face Carla. And then it'll all get very serious again, OK? But if it is the truth, then you've got to stick to it, all right? Of course. I'll second that. That's right. Ask him again. Me? Yeah. Right, come on, Si. Just tell the truth. Did Carla hit you? Yes or no? No. Oh, Si, why did you say that Oh, she Leanne, did? you know why he did it. We both know why he did it. And this is the truth, is it? You're not just saying this because I'm here. Did Carla hit you? I've said no! All right, OK. Well done, son. Well done for telling the truth. Thank you. But I wish she had, cos then if she had, I wouldn't have to live with her, would I? I could go and live with my mum. What? He's gone. And has he paid? Well, not that I'm aware of. Has he paid you? No. See? Once a con man, always a con man. Sorry, the matter. <laughs> no, uh, we just wondered if you wanted anything else. Um, a large brandy would be great. Uh, certainly. The food was really excellent. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> I won't ask you to apologise to him? I wouldn't if you did. He's gone, has he? 
You know, he's taken Simon home. He lied about Carla hitting him. What? So I've just made a total fool of myself. Not that that matters. Oh, how desperate must he have been to lie about something like that? The poor little thing. I really want to help him, but I don't know how. Well, you're going to be more else in here than in London. Yeah, but I've got nowhere to stay, have I? Well, you can stay here. You've got a spare room. He said he lied about Carla hitting him because he wanted to be with me. So, yeah, I suppose you're right. I can't go, can I? No. No. I have to be here for him. I just have to. I'm going to have to move quickly on this, Sally, so you can expect some fireworks. Oh, do they have to lose their jobs? Yes. I wish they didn't, but there you go. Anyway, don't let it ruin your beauty sleep. I'll see you in the morning, OK? Yeah, OK. Good night. Night. Well done. Like a man who's on time. I nearly wasn't. I had Sally to deal with. <sighs> Not for much longer, I hope. Hmm. She's found out about the plan. Really? Yeah, it's my fault. She saw an email. So? So, I told her all about it. I just didn't bother mentioning that it's going to be me and you driving off into the sunset. And not me and her. So Leanne's back, but is it for good? Find out about her return from actress Jane Danson at itv.com slash Corey. The killer hides his true self. He presents society with a face of normality, then when night falls, he dons a mask. We're looking for a loon who dresses up to kill people. A truly creepy episode tonight, Whitechapel, next. <laughs> 